you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo what's going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am on my own server as you can see I am the owner right there at the bottom you can see that anyways I will be showcasing some stuff on my server some of the latest updates that we have done showcasing some of the cool items we have and all that good stuff now for the people who don't know I used to have immortal 667 like two years ago and I recently brought it back and with recently I mean legit just last week basically and now we are running immortal again and we are getting a bunch of players right now there are only seven online that's because the time right now is when there are a lot of people at school and stuff but at peak times we reach 20 to 25 players on for barely any advertisement at all that's actually not too bad so therefore I'm going to start advertising my server and make some cool videos on here So hopefully some of you guys will come ahead and join that would be really awesome Okay, so starting off we did the home area completely redone So um, yeah, it's now in Edgeville instead of the last location which it was if you remember from the old days Anyways, as you can see we have um, Sacred clay which is uh, something that's already been in runescape for quite a while But we have implemented this armor as well, which I'll go more into in a second We also have old-school RS uh, Revenant items for example the scepter We also have the crossbow and the mace We also have some raids 2 items, but those are not released yet However, we do plan on making a raid system where we will release these weapons at a rare chance now going ahead and looking into the donation store we have some really expensive items the perfect ring and the perfect necklace now i just want to showcase these two items especially because those two are super overpowered as you can see when you go to the stats oh let me just uh, go to the stats real quick you can see that the ring alone gives 2500 of each and super insane defense bonuses Adding the perfect necklace which gives a bit worse stats but however the perfect necklace gives double drops so yeah that's another really cool benefit so if you want double drops on anything basically you just have a perfect necklace and you get times two drops. Anyways we are going ahead and showcasing one of the new um, interfaces we have which is the teleport interface now in my opinion this looks really great so you have the bosses some information about the bosses and then you can see the rare drops for example this hand hex hunter scrap is something new that we have added as well which is the hex hunter bow now this bow is going to be super op it's and actually in fact it is the best in slot bow we have now you need four hex hunter scraps which is one from each of the god wars dungeon bosses and then you need a zerite bow which you can get from nex or you can get them from revenant so yeah that's pretty nice of course you have a bunch of these other bosses as well like blue jet which drops malevolent and stuff um, shadow corporal beast which drops noxious but we also have a new custom boss which is the venomous snake now this boss is just implemented yesterday so um yeah that's actually really nice this drops the drygors the regular drygors because of course you can dye these drygors and make them recolored which will have extra benefits now for the snake, this snake is super overpowered so as you can see once you are praying it will do a very rapid attack and then as you can see it will drain your prayer to zero. Now I will be hitting huge amounts because I have the perfect ring and necklace and as you can see I get double drops so that's super nice as well. Now of course we have also thought about the new players so we made a zone especially for new players where they can make some easy starter money. Also it encourages if you go dicing and you get cleaned you can rebuild really easily right here. You get a bunch of cash drop and all of these cases which can give you some really nice rewards. You can also get builds back and necromancer stuff right here which is really nice magic armor to start off with. Now we also have another zone which is clay. If you go to this zone there will be a bunch of these clay NPCs. Now these um, will be working towards this sacred clay set. Now you will have to kill these and you get all these classes of clay 
and some arrows which are really good for range you can also get up to 8 bell cash from these and also of course these chests which you, I, I showed earlier so you can get all these classes of clay now once you have all classes of clay you have to go to here and right here is a boss um, if you examine this he will drop the recipes um, for all these um, what's it called for all these sacred clay things now let me just show real quick how you make it all right now for each piece you will need the same requirements the only different thing per piece is the recipe that you need now for the skimitar for example all you have to do is use one of these items on each other you will need all the classes then the recipe and 25 billion cash and then you will be able to make yourself a sacred clay uh, skimitar now all these sacred clay items are really uh, a grind to get but therefore they are rewarded with some really good stats now another thing we have implemented is donator benefits especially for lead donator which right now is the highest donator rank however there will be coming more donator ranks soon which we are working on first of all i want to show off the lead donator zone which has just their own custom skilling area right here then they have some abyssal demons and dark beasts right here so they can come here to grind out their completion escape requirements also they have a few other necromancers right there so they don't have to go to the money zone which most of the times is quite crowded with players and then right here is a custom mining spot just for lead donators and these gold ores actually mine you um, perfect gold ores which you can then sell for 30 mil each to the store right there so that's pretty nice now you also have noticed this energy uh, entry portal probably now this teleports you to a custom boss and i know this is where a lot of people will either love it or hate the server because we have miniguns and most people think miniguns look amazing so um yeah here we go we have a custom boss right here with miniguns this is just for the lead donator this boss is really strong he can probably one hit you however in this gear i am not afraid to challenge this boss and as you can see there we go we just wrecked the boss he also drops fury sharks 100 of the time now this is a type of food that heals you for half of your hp so that's quite a lot and that's really good for people King. that's why these sharks will actually go for a bit because you only get one one each kill anyways i have also revamped a lot of the boxes now we have the ultra boxes the super and donator boxes um the ultra and super boxes used to have some empty spots now i have removed those so you get a 100 uh, um rate of an actual loot and i actually just got demon horn boots doomed which are worth 500 deems which is 50 dollars so that's actually a super nice reward from that so let's have a look here and we are getting a lot of these really cool loots from these ultra boxes however these ultra boxes are worth eight dollars each so it's it should be normal that you actually get a lot of money here now as you can see 150 redeems that's a 15 dollar donation so yeah that's a 10 dollar donation we got a lot of money from these so yeah that's pretty nice however we also have these super mystery boxes so let me just spawn those um, real quick and let's have a look if we can get lucky on those as well so as you can see the super donated boxes will give a bit less um, op rewards that's because of course they are super however we just got an ultra box from this and oh that gave us sort of a plate like so not the best not the worst however as well though so um yeah we're getting actually really unlucky oh also we have the ever shock which is works as a double corrosive which is super overpowered in the wilderness but it's still a pretty nice reward we also have um redone the xp lamp so right now they give xp in a skill you choose instead of just giving bonus xp so that's actually super nice as well now i'll just showcase some of these uh, chests that you can get from the money zone and the clay zone now the magic chest gives some basic rewards you can get some assassins from these which is pretty good armor you can also get some next pieces like that upgrade stuff and all that cool stuff then you have these offensive cases now these can give a pvm light whoop which is pretty op it's a really good beginner weapon so um yeah definitely go ahead and grind those out for that pvm um light whip which will be able to hit a lot of really high hits then you have these bulwark chests which can basically give you imbued torva and speaking of which i got it on my first chest so i got an imbued torva helm so i'm actually quite lucky on those let me just bank this real quick and um yeah i'm just going to take out these 
orogenic cases now these are a bit more special because these give a guaranteed good loot there are only five loots which you can get from these which is the healer the attacker the collector and the defender and then you can also get what's it called a crystal wings anyways if you go ahead and actually open these you will get one of these items for sure as you can see so hopefully we can get like everything here and um, we got collector attacker come on defender and of course we don't get a defender anyways but you can also get these um uh, crystals which you can get from abyssal demons and dark beasts now these crystals can be used to actually upgrade your collector healer and all that other stuff to up to level 5 and level 5 is the best of course these give some really good stuff of course the collector gives drop rate the healer heals you the attacker gives you more attack bonus and um, strength bonus and the defender gives you more absorb and stuff However, the crystal wings are super good wings. They are for every single combat, so they are tribrid wings, and they have some really good stats as well. So these cases are super lucky to get. They are a 0.7% drop rate, which is pretty rare, but if you do manage to get them, you can get some really cool rewards from them. Now before we end off the video there is just one thing I just want to show off because there are so much things I can't go over everything in just one video. However we have the automatic uh, loot banker which basically works if you add something to the list. For example on my list there is coins and something else but for example if you add to your list doomed spirit shield and you would get a doomed spirit shield drop it would automatically send the drop to your bank so that's actually really nice so um yeah you can basically afk anything you can also do some wilderness tasks or whatever make sure you don't uh, this is your plus one so if you get pk8 you still have uh, are safe because everything will be sent to your bank if you are doing some wilderness bosses now this is where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to smash the like button also make sure to check out the server hop on in game and have fun with all these players that will be online and um, also make sure you join the discord because we announced the updates and ev events and everything that is going on right there and I'll be leaving the link down below in the description. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.